I also wanted to provide a short version of the step two of the setup, which is cleaning up the web config file. So I'm going to provide this file and you can download it. So here, all lines containing these terms, I have removed them, some of them more than one place. So I have removed these lines. I have changed the following lines from this to this twice here and once here. I have removed the entire dependent assembly sections that had maxmine.goip2 and maxmine.db and also that had .netdook.enterprise SharePoint. I have removed the sections from dependent assemblies and I have also removed these two sections that had search iFilter and system service model. This is just a short version of the long video that I have done on how to clean up the web config. This was just enough for me, our case, my case here. And I hope that this serves as a guideline for you to clean up yours. At the end of the day, in the web.config, we have to remove any references to .NET Nook, .Professional, Evoke, and Enterprise. Now, just make sure that you don't have another module using those terms too. You have to be mindful about that. But this is a short version of step number two, cleaning up the web config file.